I um, have a stroke. Um, 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 one half year ago. This is my daughter, Jessica Peters, sitting with her husband, John, in front of a classroom full of future speech pathologists in Boston. And yes, Jessica had a stroke in September of 2011, a day that changed everything. This is Jessica too. Her mother made this for her, and as you can tell, Jessica just oozed of confidence from an early age. She went on to work in Boston for several real estate companies, and for one, she brought in one of the largest sales the group had ever had. She called me in August to tell me, Dad, I've got the wedding covered. One month later, I get a call from John, her fiance. Keith, I'm at Mass General Hospital with Jessica, and we don't know what's happened. Well, we find out soon after that a massive clot had found its way to the left side of her brain, and there she was, only able to squeeze a finger. Surgery would remove the side of her skull to relieve the pressure. That skull portion would stay off for months as she struggled to make sense of what had happened. John would stay by her side constantly and constantly feed updates to the family. About a month later, Jessica was moved out of intensive care, and at some point, Jessica flipped that internal switch that she has and decided to beat this. With John working with her, along with the staff at Spalding Rehab Center there in Boston, she was put to the test. Electrical stimulation for her legs and her arms, and then the treadmill. With her right hand lashed to the handle, she starts her marathon, one step at a time. Then weeks later, the hallway. Awesome. Jessica doing freestyle. Yeah. Jessica and John tied the knot in August of 2013, and a proud dad was able to walk her down that aisle. Today, Jessica continues working with Spalding Rehab Center. She will bike for miles and rock climb, and her favorite, horseback ride. And her dream of returning to that top sales position remains. There are obstacles. She suffers from... I um, have aphasia, duh. <laughs> and... Um, That's aphasia, the inability to communicate um, thoughts. Sure. They're in there, but to get them out is tough. But it's getting better. She currently is working on getting her driver's license and will need hand controls to operate her car. If she can become mobile and self-sufficient, she'll be making those sales calls in no time. 